This video explains how to upgrade your BE box to the latest firmware. I'm probably going to go a little bit quick, so you'll want to use the pause button on uh, YouTube. So the first thing is I'm going to demonstrate that the BE box is running the old firmware. So 192.168.1.254, which is the BE box IP. Software release 7.4.20, which is the old BE firmware. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to get the firmware files, so www.beusergroup.co.uk. On the left hand side go to the technical wiki. Excellent. <laughs> Notice it's decided to use IPv6 there. Uh, right. Search for firmware. Yes. B box of modem firmware. Scroll down, right? The two things you'll need is the firmware updater tool, which actually connects to the modem and sends the file to it. So we'll download that. And the firmware itself. So you need to download that. It's passworded to stop O2 users downloading it and uh, using it, which they were using, and O2 disliked it. So log in with your BE member ID and uh, download the firmware at the moment. I mean this will obviously change with the firmware versions but there's two different versions. One supports VPN connections, the other one doesn't, but I'm going to go for the absolute latest one. Download the firmware file. Just wait for that to download. There we go. Right, I'm going to extract the files from both of these zips. There's that one. And uh, failed to extract. Let's try again. There we go. Right. So that's now we've downloaded the, the files, extracted them from the zip files, and uh, we now go into the upgrade folder, run setup, which will uh, take a while, install some libraries for it to, to update with. English, unless you want to use another language, upgrade your Thompson Gateway. Next. Right, this is an important stage. If you don't unblock this at this stage, or if uh, McAfee or Norton automatically blocks it, you need to make sure that the firmware tool is unblocked. Uh, if you're blocking it with a firewall, it will get to about 20% and error. And uh, we have a lot of people popping into the forum and IRC saying they can't get it to work. All you do is uh, unblock the firmware tool. So make sure you click on unblock. I've got a BT Home Hub on my network as well, so we'll just ignore that one. But we want to upgrade the uh, BE box, which is the 585v7. Next, it asks for the uh, firmware file, so have disk, and I've put it on the desktop here, so wherever you've put it, say in my documents or whatever, but on mine it's on the desktop. BE firmware file, OK. Go next, and uh, we just wait. during which the uh, BE box lights will flicker and do all sorts of different colours and everything. Uh, right now it's transferring the file to the device. I can see the Ethernet light on the back of the BE box flashing a lot and it's gone past the 20% on the bottom progress bar. Whereas if I said earlier if it's blocked by a firewall it will get to about 20% and uh, fail to do anything further. Now this bit takes the longest time. It's transferred the firmware file to the BE box and the BE box is now rebooting and erasing the old software and putting the new software on. If you unplug the BE box right now you'll probably end up with a nice doorstop and have to pay £50 or whatever BE uh, require to get it replaced because you've bricked it. But So basically wait until the firmware flash program says to unplug it if it fails for some reason or whatever, don't just randomly unplug or reset while you're doing the uh, firmware upgrade.
and hopefully it will finish sometime soon. Yeah, it's just rebooted again and all the lights have gone off and come back on, so that must have finished copying the uh, files to its own memory. So just got to wait for it to reboot and for the firmware updater to say it's done. The other thing to note in the README is that the password for the router is now the serial number, so the older versions didn't have any password, uh, which was bad because you could visit any website and they could basically take over your computer, or not your computer, but take over your router by just submitting a form to the router. <laughs> um, whereas now it's passworded, which stops that happening. There's also uh, assault on the web page, which stops that happening as well. Right, that's basically finished don't bother ticking that because it won't work so just click finish and then we can load up close that, load up Internet Explorer log back into the router ask for the username and password the username is administrator with a capital A Oops. and the password is the serial number on the bottom of the BE box with uh, CP on the front so CP0850SFZRE for my one uh, take great care when reading it because the S's look very similar, the U's look very similar to V's uh, and everything, so basically make sure you've got good light and can read it well. And there we go, we see software release 8.2.32, or sorry, 2.3, and successfully upgraded the BE box. Um, text instructions or printable instructions for this are on the user group firmware page that we were at earlier. Modem firmware, if you want to print it off and follow it there, instructions on how to do it on an Apple Mac are on there as well, along with the Apple Mac firmware files. Um, if you have any questions, pop into the BE forum or IRC or their live chat. There's millions of ways of getting help, but hopefully this video also helps you.